Good morning student. I am Dr. Ratika, the faculty of CC department, is an associate professor in St. Andrews Institute of Technology and Management. Today, I am going to deliver the lecture on CAM, Computer Application in Management subject. Today, we will cover the topics like classification of computer, types of computer, hardware and software of a computer. Now, what will be the contents we will use here? Classification, hardware, software of computer, input output devices, practice sessions about computer devices and we will follow up some previous year questions or some important questions on the basis of our slide. Now, let's start. What is the classification of computer? Now, classification of computer is based on three types that is analog, digital and hybrid. So let's start. Dif differences in certain computer characteristics have led to the development of major computer classifications based on the type of electronic signals and memory size. So it is classified into three types where computer based on electronic signals they transmit are analog computer, digital computer and hybrid computer. Now, analog computer is in the form of continuous form or we can say it is used to process analog data. It is in the continuous nature which is not discrete or separate. Such data includes like weight, pressure, voltage, temperature which consider as the continuous in varieties of value. Now, it is widely used during the engineering and scientific applications for calculating and measuring of analog qualities. Now, second is the digital computer. Digital computer means binary form, means which is in the form of 0 or 1, which is useful to evaluate arithmetic expressions for manipulating of data such as preparing a bill, ladder, ladders, solution of an equation. So, it operates on data including magnitudes, symbols, letter. These computers are also known as digital computers. And third is the hybrid computer. Third is the hybrid computer. Hybrid computer means combination of both analog computer and digital computer. So, it is mainly used in specialized application where both kind of data need to be processed. For example, in our medical term, we use ICUs. In an analog device, ICUs means intensive care unit. So, it is an analog device used to measure blood pressure, temperature, which are then converted and display in the form of digital. So, ICU is the best examples of our hybrid computer means it is used in term of scientific calculations in defense and radar. So the hybrid computer are mostly used in scientific calculating for in defense lines in radar system and one of the best example is ICU that is the intensive care unit which is used in our hospitals. Now, now next is the type of computer based on memory size R. First is microcomputer it is also known as pc which means personal computer so it is the smallest general purpose processing system or you can say it is at the lower end of computer range in term of speed and storage capacity its cpu is a microprocessor the first microcomputer were built of 8 bit microprocessor chip it is also known as PC. You can say the most common microcomputer is a personal computer. It supports number of inputs and output devices where it include 8-bit chip or a 16-bit and a 32-bit chips. Example of microcomputer are IBM PC, PC80 or we can say it contains microprocessors means a CPU on a microchip which access memory, input output port and where is RAM and ROM we can include in the processing of our data. 
so next is the mini computer this is designed to support more than one user at a time it processes large storage capacity and operates at a high speed than a micro computer this type of computer is generally used for processing large volume of data in an organization they are used or helpful as serv serves servers in lan that is local area network means mini computers are helpful in networking line in our lan that is local area network now mini computer is a medium size of computer where they are more powerful than a micro computer or you can say more expensive than micro computer it is designed to serve multiple users simultaneously which follow the concept of parallel processing some examples are sun ultra digital alpha ultra are the examples of our mini computer now next is the main frame computer these type of computers are generally 32 bit computers they operate at high very high speed have very large storage capacity and can handle the workload of many users they are generally used in centralized database where they are also used as controlling nodes in our wan that is wide area network or it is a large storage capacity and very high speed of processing also known as main main frame computers so with it they also support number of terminals for simultaneously used by the number of users you can say atm transaction atm machine is used by different different users which are useful for transaction of money or you can withdraw the money with the help of our atm transaction processes now main frame computer are used as central host computer and distributed data processing systems also some examples are dec icl ibm 300 ibm 3000 series ibm 370 s oblique 390 all are the examples of our main frame computer now next is the super computer now next is the super computer it is the fastest and most expensive machine it has high processing speed compared to other computers they also have multi processing techniques one of the way in which super computers are built is by interconnecting hundreds of microprocessors so we can say it is measured in term of 10 of millions instructions per second that is mips which operates or perform operation with numerical numerous of instructions or it is extremely large storage capacity and computing speed is faster than other computers so super computer is mainly used for weather forecasting biomedical research remote sensing aircraft design and other areas of science and technology some examples as cray ymp cray 2 nec sx3 cray xmp and param now param is the india's first super computer i am again repeating param is the india's first super computer now come to the applications of computer computer have their applications or utility everywhere we find their application in almost every sphere of life particular in the field where computation computations are required to be done at a very fast speed and where data is so complicated that the human brain finds it difficult to cope up with as you must be aware computer nowadays are being used almost in every department to do the work at a greater speed and accuracy so some of the prominent areas of computer applications are in tourism banks industrial transportation education entertainment 
and so on you can say business insurance education marketing healthcare military communication government e-commerce engineering design there are lot of applications of a computer now students one of the most important thing is now that now it's covid time is going on so we read our subjects we delivered our lecture with the help of computer it is the one of the best application of the computer we can say with the help of computer we can study we can deliver our lecture now more detail about the application of computer we will cover in our unit 2 where in in unit 2 we will cover the topic of application of computer in briefly now identify the models of computer first is the tower the system box is placed vertically ad adjacent to monitor that is known as tower model computer next is the desktop it is not designed for portable the expectations with desktop system are that we will set the computer at permanent location most desktop offer more powerful storage versatility for less cost than their portable brethren mostly desktop computers are used in our computer labs at our home also laptop they are also known as notebooks laptop are portable computers that integrate the display keyboard pointing devices or trackball processors memory and hard drives all in the battery operated packages which is used to average hard cover book so in this slide you can see laptop computer now next is a palm top now what is palm top there are also called as personal digital assistants which is known as pda which are tightly integrated computer they often use flash memories instead of hard drive or for storage they compute these computers do not have keyboard but relay on touch screen technology for use input also so in screen you can see palm top computer now concept of hardware and software as we have discussed in our first lecture that was the introduction to computer in in the lecture introduction to computer i have already covered about the hardware and software but still it is a part of our unit one so let's start about the hardware and software once again computer hardware is the collection of physical elements that is used in computer system where hardware refers to physical part or component of computer such as monitor keyboard hard disk mouse so it refers to object objects that you can actually see touch and feel like disks disk drivers display screens keyboard printer motherboard and chip students again i am referring hard hardware refers to objects that you can actually see touch and feel so these all are the hardware devices we will used we will attached with computer system now computer system or just software is a collection of computer programs and related data that provides the instruction for telling a computer what to do and how to do it in other words we can say software is a set of programs procedures algorithm and is documentation concerned with the operations of a data processing system or you can say it refers to program which we cannot touch cannot see cannot feel by our sense so software exists as idea concepts and symbol but it has no substance so a combination of hardware and software forms a usable computing system so identify and understand front panel switches 
and back panel connections of computers so students it is for your knowledge you can easily see front panel and back panel of our computer here i have mentioned it is a front panel of the computer system here i have mentioned mentioned with their number name as the floppy drive is here cd drive is here so we have mentioned the numbers and now our next style next slide you can see which number associated with its hardware input output device and how we will connect we will read it in our previous slide also so in this in this we, you can see power on switch is in first number power on led reset switch so we have mentioned the name with their number which is helpful to read it out now it is the back panel of our cpu cabinet you can see i have already mentioned here number and our next slide you will compare with their numbers with their names then you can easily understand where the input output devices where the ports are related to or we can easily connect it with so you can see here is the ac in ac out you can see the port my numbers i have mentioned now in next slide let's read on the first number ac power in on second number ac power out so exhaust fan number i have mentioned in front of number i have mentioned the name in which number which port you can easily connect with with it so let's practice connecting the cable so i have mentioned the numbers mentioned the names so you can easily practice for connecting the cables also with our computer system in front and back to the panels so now again i have shown some cables for back panel of the computer you can easily see you can if someone has try to connect these so you can remember how to connect these cables with our with our cpu cabinet also so i have mentioned here cables and cpu cabinet to connect these cables now let's come to our next topic is peripheral devices students every time students confuse if someone ask tell me about peripheral devices and input output devices so student peripheral devices and input output devices both are same if during the time of examination so someone ask you what are peripheral devices so you you feel confused ki ye sab kya pooch liya ma'am ne to peripheral devices bataya nahi hum confuse ho gaye so don't be confused peripheral devices and input devices output devices all are same only the name is different so identify and understand physical components of computer let us start with motherboard it is called as system board panel board main board it is a large printed circuit board that is pcb inside a system unit it holds the majority of crucial components of the system provide connectors for other peripheral devices so students in our next slide you can see how our, our motherboard look like and i and these are the slots you can see agp slots pci slots floppy connectors some cmos batteries ram slots you can easily see inside our motherboard how our motherboard look like and i have mentioned inside the motherboard which slot is present and how you can connect with our input output devices now next is the cpu cpu chip are intel pentium 4 intel core i7 how cpu chip look like you can see cpu mean central processing unit now in like next slide you can see hard disk drives hard disk drives look like this and inside we will read how it look like you can see in the slide in hard disk drive you can see some sectors some hats are there where we will move we can write we can flatter some cylinders are there some sectors in some sectors we can write our data we can store our data so how hard disk look like you can see inside the sl slides like splendor is here had is here planter is here so you can see here 
Now next is the floppy disk drive. Floppy disk drive is defined as FDD. It is mechanism which drives FD to rotate for read-write operation. It has a controlled circuit which transfer data between FD and computer. So how floppy drive look like you can see students. Nowadays we are not using floppy drive, we are not using floppy. But for your knowledge you can see how floppy, you can remind how floppy look like and what is floppy disk drive is look like. So inside the floppy you can see a floppy disk is a disk storage medium composed of a disk of thin and flexible magnet storage sealed in a rectangular plastic carriers lined with fabric that moves dust practically. So you can see here paper ring, magnetic disk, a spring, shutter, paper ring. So you can see inside the floppy disk drive. Now next is the compact disk drive that is CDD. RW means read write. So it is a mechanism used to read write digital information on a CD. CD drives are available in different forms like CD drive for reading purpose only which is mentioned as CD slash R for reading purpose only CD, CD drive for both reading and writing so you can mention CD read and write. So it is an optical disk drive that uses laser light or electromagnetic waves for suitable wavelength as part of the process of reading or writing data to or from CD. So it is commonly both readers and recorders also called burners or writers. Compact disk defined Compact is abbreviated with CD, digital versatile disc that is DVD, Blu-ray disc, BD are commonly types of our compact disc drive. See in the slide how compact disc drive look like. Now a recorder encodes or burns data into a recordable CD write, DVD write, DVD write or BD write disc that is called blank by selective, selective heating part of an organic dye layer with a laser. This changed the reflectivity of the dye there by creating mark that can be read like the pits and lines on a press disc. So the wavelength of 780 nm were used for with infrared range and for DVD 650 and the wavelength for Blu-ray disc we use 405 and then for violet rays. These are the range by which we will use in CD, DVD and Blu-ray discs. Now you can see how, how the CD is made up of 1.2 million thick polycarbonate plastic where weight are 15 to 20 grams, a thin layer of aluminium or more rarely gold is applied the surface of making it reflective. So this is all about how CD made up of, how we will write, how we will re read on, how we will write on CD, how we will write on DVD, how we will we'll write on Blu-ray. So for rewritable re CD RW, DVD RW, DVD plus RW, DVD RAM, BG RAM media, other lasers is used to melt crystalline matter alloy in recording layer of the disk. Now, it is more about the CD data is stored as a series of tiny, which is known as bits and coded in a spiral track where polycarbonate layers are used. It is the flat area between bits is also known as land so students you can learn about more about the cds so pits and lands do not directly represent the zeros and ones of the binary data so no return to zero and code is used where it is used to change pit to land and land to pit 
indicate a 1 while no change indicates the series of a 0. So how optical disk drive mechanism and CD look like? CD is look like this and inside CD you can see student plastic base, elliptic matter layer, drive motors, pits, lands. It is the inside picture of our CD. Now next is a SMPS that is a switch mode power supply. It is switch mode power supply is basically it is a buffer circuit make the computer system load compatible with its power source. So it is a power supply is an electronic power supply that is incorporate a switching regulator to convert electrical power efficiently. So it is basically used for convert AC to DC. Now look like how SMPs look like inside. Now ports. These are the ports are the sockets which is available on our system box and these are the some serial ports serial port 1 serial port 2 which is basically used for interface in which information transfer in and out in one bit at a time now parallel ports I have mentioned some parallel ports which transfer 8 or more data bit continuously mention their number and their name so you can easily use for our daily life if someone wants someone say to please connect parallel port or a printer port how they look like now usb is the universal serial bus this is a combination of all advantages of multi-platform serial ports so we can connect mouse keyboard digital camera printers and storage devices to usb so basically it is used for communication for supply electrical powers which is defined with the help of cables connectors communication protocols how you usb look like you can see this symbol you can see in the our cpu cabinet where pen drive is look like so you can see students on the slides now vga spga agp these are the graphical cards video graphical cards where you are used to display their graphical videos inside it which allow games to 3d applications you can use with the help of these cards how agp card look like you can see students agp card look like now sound cards these are the sound cards which is basically used to play sound for translating analog signal from a microphone into a digitalized form you can say also known as an audio card is an internal computer expansion card which facilitates input and output of audio signals and from a computer under control of a computer program now so how sounds look like sound cards look like you can see these are the digital out microphone so students you can see their ports and their names which is helpful for your knowledge network cards i have mentioned here it is known as nic that is a network interface card which is used to connect our computer to another computer so we will need of nic it is an adapter card which is physically connected one computer to the network cable and another computer that has been same type of nic's so you, you can look like nic's now next is the modem that is a modulation and demodulation a modem is a device which modulates analog carrier signals to encode digital signals so it demodulates such a carrier signals to decode the transmission information the main goal is to produce a signal that can be transmitted easily and decoded to reproduce the original digital data analog to digital conversion of data of voice of signal we use our modulator and demodulator device which is also known as modulation now see how modulation look like two types of model modems are used internal and external you can see in our slides friends now come to the topic of input output devices now 
we have read many of peripheral devices in our about slides like motherboard keyboard floppy disk so let's little bit brief about the input output devices the input devices are used for transferring entering user command or data or choice of the computer so it captures or reads data and information and converts this data into form that computer understand and transfer this data to memory unit for execution here are the some examples which takes input and gives output to the computer so input device are keyboard joystick scanners mouse webcam optical mark readers trackballs camera tablets are are the input device keyboard you all are aware about the students keyboard you can enter data with the help of keyboard with the help of button with the help of keys which is basically used for typing text numbers into a word processor text editors and other programs now you can say how stand some keyboards standard keyboards like 104 key which includes alphabetic keys punctuation keys numerical keys functional keys some commonly used left shift right shift so enter key so you can see inside escape key some alphabetic keys some numerical keys you can see here 104 standard keyboard some foldable keyboards that you can easily fold easily carry with you some visual laser keyboards mostly used in new technology of our computer system now mouse mouse is also an input device it is also known as a pointing device which contain functions by detecting two dimension motions x and y axis which support surface surface so it is an input device that can be moved around a flat surface by the user and the mouse has switch on its back to send command to the computer or you can say it is an pointing device which points on a particular device which consists of an object which holds one of the user hand with one or more buttons now how optical now a days we will use some optical and laser mouse so optical mouse ya yeah, ma mice in short form we, we can mention in short form mouse short form is mice which is used one or more light emitting diodes and images array of photo diodes to detect movement of relative underlying surfaces rather than internal moving parts and does a mechanism of mouse so how mouse look like these are the mouse and some of the internal functioning of our mouse you can see students in your slides now next is the scanner scanner is basically used to scan the images printing text and writing or an object which convert into a digital images so some are the flat flat bed scanners desktop scanners which are documented and placed on a glass window for scanning the objects now see students how scanners look like these are the internal functioning of scanner fixed mirror how scanner moves you can see inside the scanner joysticks is basically input device which is used in our gaming so push button back button front button i have mentioned some numbers with the, those who have used they can easily understand how joystick look like and how joysticks joysticks work now next is our output devices is a computer hardware equipment used to communicate the results of data processing which carried out computer for converting the electronic generated information into human readable form so output devices produce information in the form of printouts displays or monitors so it converts data in the form of user understandable so students some output devices like monitor printer plotters speakers headphones visual display units film film recorder mostly i have covered in the slides so let's start 
monitor monitor is an output device which is basically used for display which is also known as visual display unit it consists of some thin film of transistors lcd lcd you can say liquid crystal display tft dcd so which is basically thin panels which orders in the form of cathode ray tube some tft lcd is in our computer lab also so how cathode ray tubes helpful to reflect the light and how they look like you can see in the screen now tft how tft look like you can see that is the trans, trans transistors liquid crystal displays is a variant of lcd which use thin film tfts now student next how lcd and oled look like oled means organic light emitting diode which provides higher contrast and better view angle than lcd and as predictable to replace them how oleds look like students now next is the printer printer is also a peripheral device output device which is basically useful for find out the hard copying to produce hard copy of a text graphics now see how many two types of printer impact printer and non impact printer impact printer are actually come in contact with a type element in order to print like dot mat dot matrix printer non impact printers like print is creating by some other names like laser printer inkjet printers see students how dot net printer look like how laser printer look like now plotters plotter is also an output device which is similar to printer to produced hard copy output of graphs maps maps charts etc for any sort of paper so it is very convenient and invaluable tool in business graphics applications for printing on a very large size papers like film posters autocad buildings drawings we will use their plot we will use their plotters with the help of plotters we will use now students we have covered all input output devices hardware devices peripheral devices now some questions are rise like what is input and output devices write down their names explain about input devices so these are the question what are output devices examiner can ask you any function of your input and output devices so students it's all are about the peripheral types of computer devices types of computer how computer analog digital and hybrid computer what are these how they perform the functions so students thank you thank you very much for your session for this session now in next session we will cover our next topics of unit 1 okay thank you students thank you very much have a nice day